So I have here a T8 fluorescent replacement um, LED tube. So it's it's an LED lamp uh, meant to go in the old fluorescent fittings. And they're pretty cool, you know, the fact that you um, can have your old fluorescent fitting as LED. Um, because the way these LED lamps are going nowadays is um, you buy the LED light fitting and there's no lamp to change. If it if the LED light goes, it fails, you replace the whole thing. But uh, it got me thinking, um, since uh, with these LED tubes, you put your 240 volts on the one side and the other pins on the other side are completely unpowered. So it makes me think that uh, this could be your entire light fitting. And um, it can just be essentially powered by soldering two wires onto the pins at the end and uh, covering it with something to make it uh, safe and nice. And then this could be mounted directly as a light fixture. So uh, it's like one of these ones, uh, a traditional light fixture, fluorescent light fixture with a um, LED replacement tube in it. So... Um, yeah, that got me thinking we could do away with the light fixture completely and just mount it, mount the LED tube directly like I did this one and just supply it with power directly on the one end. Yeah, so I don't see why we can't directly power this tube if we just solder wire straight onto it. I mean, you can make it all neat if we just uh, simply take this little cap that I had and you can use any sort of little plastic cap. Um, and we just, I drill the hole in it and we just uh, put the wires through it. And that can go straight onto there. And I guess you can use anything, a bottle cap like this should work as well. Just something to uh, cover the live ends there so nobody touches and gets electric shock. That should fit nicely. Once these pins are cropped off, we can glue that over it. Now I'm going to pre-tin the ends here, just to make everything a bit easier to solder. I'm going to pre-tin the ends just to make it a bit easier to solder. I'm going to use my trusty instant heat soldering gun, which heats up rather quickly. It's good. It's great for these type of quick jobs where you just want to solder quite heavy gauge wire. There we go. So we've got these soldered up. They're nice, nice and thin, so they should uh, solder to that quite easily now. And I'm just going to um, twist these so they make a nice tight bend. And I guess we can even crop the excess off so that it fits nice and tight. So those can go over the ends there. And we'll solder them up. And then we can even clip, clip these pins a bit shorter. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. There we go. And I reckon we can just shorten these pins a bit because they don't need to be that long. And just for good measure, we'll apply a bit of solder there, just in case uh, we cut something off on the inside. So that looks pretty good. So um, 
Now I guess all that needs to be done is we need to glue this cap on just to make the wires nice and safe. And that fits pretty nicely actually. Now I'm going to put a bit of super glue on the cable that way it won't uh, pull out by accident. It's like a kind of strain relief thing. I have some of this accelerant stuff that makes the super glue go hard instantly. So now that the cable is pretty much glued to the cap, I think we should uh, get some super glue um, into this cap as well. So what I'll do is I'll put super glue on there and it'll soak in. And I'll just uh, spray this accelerant on it to harden it. It's pretty quick. That super glue soaks in all the way. There we go, that's pretty solid. And it looks pretty neat too. So there we go. Now we could just uh, power the end of this flex. It's really handy stuff, this uh, super glue accelerant. Uh, it makes your super glue any cheap old uh, cyano acrylate glue, super glue, uh, dry really quickly. You just drop the super glue, it can soak into gaps or whatever, and you just spray a little bit of this and it instantly hardens. Super useful stuff. So uh, let's put some electricery on the other side of this flex and see if the tube lights. So here's the other end of this flex and uh, we'll use this handy little cliff quick test to apply our 240 volts of electricery to the bank test. Wish me luck. Well you know, we have a light fixture that doesn't need a light fitting to go into. We can just mount this straight onto the ceiling of our garage or wherever you don't really care too much about what it looks like it just needs to provide a good source of light so the way I would mount this is I would take uh, one of these cable tie um, mount things that you put a cable tie through like that and this would then be uh, screwed on to your whichever surface it screws onto put the cable tie through and uh, Simply cable tied on. Like that. And it looks pretty neat. And then uh, the screw would screw onto whichever surface you screw it onto. In my case, the rafters of the garage. So that makes for a pr pretty neat way to mount it as well. And uh, if you're worried about, um, and if you're worried about aesthetics, getting the, having everything white, just uh, use a white version. Same thing. So the other side that's not powered, if you don't want the pins sticking out, you could either just uh, crop them off really short, or sometimes if you're lucky, you can break them out neatly. You just uh, wiggle them a bit soften the plastic or you can just cut them off completely cut them as flush as you can and in my case I think I'm just going to put a little bit of super glue on them We go. You, you can sometimes just pull them out as well and it leaves two small little holes. There you have it. Fluorescent tube powered directly without going into light fixture. So you don't have to do that. You can just buy these tubes and just put a flex straight on them. 
So that's about it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just smash the buttons. I'll catch you on the next one.